Hello, people of YouTube and beyond. I am Zirkoyim, and this is Portal. This is the next Let's Play that I'll be let's playing, I guess. And it will be Portal. Now, Portal is one of my favorite games out of them all. And this is going to be a fairly short Let's Play, but then it's going to turn into a longer Let's Play because I'm going to be doing Portal 1 and Portal 2 combined to one Let's Play because, you know, it's the, it's the same game. Uh, so Portal 1 I'll be doing the Orange Box version, Portal 2 the Xbox 360 version, both of them on the 360. And let me just start off by saying this is one of the best games, like humor-wise, puzzle-wise, and all that. And it isn't really possible to let's play a puzzle game that you've already played, so I'm more, I'm more doing this as a walkthrough. So yeah, that was GLaDOS. That was the only other character in this game other than one character that isn't actually in the game. It's more of a... more of a... I don't even know what to call it. Um, and she is the best character. She has, like, the most personality in the least amount of voice. Yeah, she has some really funny lines, some that I just absolutely love, like this one. Oh god. I, I just love Gladys, I love, and I love that line, the 1500 megawatt. Oh, what was that? Well, anyway, this is a little part of Portal that you're going to want to get used to. There's always going to be a blue portal and an orange portal. Later we will be able to control these portals, but for now we can't. Um, and this is how you play the game. Oh, it. See, it's two linking portals. It's like a tear in the dimension. The orange and blue portal, you know, they're portals. You go through one, you come out the other. It's fairly simple. It can get a little confusing if you don't know everything about it, but it's it's easy enough to figure out. It's pretty much all I need to say. And Portal 1 is a really short game, and then Portal 2, the later one, I'm not going to try and talk about too much of that game, but is, I think, say this game has one set, and the one set, like, is a certain amount of time, like, say the playtime of this is three hours, of course, I could probably beat this in one hour. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna pr probably pry, yeah, I'm gonna probably try and uh, stay quiet when GLaDOS is talking, which is right about now. Yeah, GLaDOS is, I guess you could say, is broken, in a way. Like, um, she kind of breaks down when she tries to give you, um, little hints, because that's her programming. And, 
and this is the emancipation rule. She's already explained this, but it'll emancipate a lot of things, and a lot of things you should destroy, like um, some of the enemies in this game. You're, it's kind of fun to break those, because people are mean, and by people I mean I. I am mean to them. No, they're adorable. Anyway, um, yeah. So, Portal. Yeah. Uh, I, I could not tell you enough how much I love this game. This is this is by far one of my favorite games, like ever. If I could do this right, yes. No. Uh, see, it, with it falling, you can gain enough momentum through the portal, and fly onto the button, and that can actually get you an achievement in the game. Uh, get a cue on a button without touching the cue. So yeah. Another. Uh, Achievement is the thing with the cameras. You can break the cameras, well, most cameras, and once you emancipate all of them, or not emancipate, just get them off the wall, um, it will it'll count up. Once you get a certain amount, you you get the achievement. I'm not going to go for a hundred percent in this game, even though I could, but I just I don't see the point in doing that. I could probably beat this game in an hour if I wasn't, like, moving around, if I wasn't commentating, uh, and I wasn't, you know, just having, I'm, I don't want to say a good time, because I'm going to have a good time no matter what. I just love this game. Notice how she never said one. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> Maybe. I if I say I will never tell tell you a lie and I'm lying there, then I'm I'm like contradicting what I just said. Oh my god, that's that's one of my favorite lines. But anyway, I, I could beat this game in an hour if I wasn't like commentating and I wasn't like fooling around and I was rushing through the game. It's not a long game at all, but with this, I'd say I could probably beat it in an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So that's why I'm doing both in one, because I don't want to make this such a short let's play. That's, that's boring. Are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high-energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture sign on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Yeah, GLaDOS seems like all like, boring and stuff, but trust me, later on she gets a lot more personality and just becomes so much more lively. Even in the second game, just it like progresses as one of the games events. I guess you could say. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. See, there's a little glitch where um, if you jump as another map is spawning, you can get like stuck between like here and here at the same time you're. I'll start it's really weird. You can't really explain it. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. That's one of my favorite lines. Just 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 followed by death. Just, she says it so lightly. Oh yeah, and the emancipation no not emancipation the energy pellets will actually time out and will stop, like, be existing and, like, just perish. So, you have to take that into account, but it, they're infinitely spawning, so it's not like it really matters. Yeah. And, fun fact, the speedrun for, uh, Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience.
yeah, the speed run for Portal 1 is actually the 9 minutes. Sender regrets to inform you that this next task will be impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's a lie. It, it's, it's obviously not Fantastic. impossible. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Extreme pessimism. That's great. That's great. I'm actually going to end the episode off here, so see you guys in the next episode of Portal 1. Um, yeah.